everybody. Good afternoon. I'm jumping on today to do another sunset tutorial because I just can't get enough. I haven't even started any owls for next week. I'll dive into those maybe sometime tomorrow, but I had an itch to get out my glitter pens one more time and I thought let's make a fun graphic sunset. And oh, excuse me, I bumped my table. It turned out so cute I decided I just had to share. So we're going to replicate something along this lines. Of course, no tooth will look exactly alike, but this is the idea that we're going with here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm using my glitter pens, but you can do the same thing using your regular colored paint pens or acrylic paints and a brush. This one, there's not a lot of little itty bitty details, but I just don't have a lot of glitter paints and didn't want to get out brushes and everything like that. So we're just going to start with our sun here. And my pen's not flowing that great right now. So if, you, if you're ever putting these glitter pens, since they have the glitter in them, I have noticed that they can kind of build up at the tip. Just press into your paper, get it a little, get it flowing a little bit. And sometimes I like to test them before I go straight to my rock, but it will be a little thicker. So you can already tell the difference there see that so we're just gonna create our our setting sun shape here with a fake horizon line underneath we'll fill that in in a little bit our stack of sunsets I just peeked through and I was gonna start leaving comments and I thought you know what I'm gonna wait until after I get my video done because I'll be back to respond to comments of the videos there are so many amazing ones that have been submitted already for the 52 Rocks prompt of sunsets. So if you need any inspiration or you wanna see fun different ways of doing them, that's a great spot to look. And we got my screen refreshing here. I gotta make sure that I'm staying in frame. There we go. Hello, Deborah. hello, Paula. Thanks for joining in. We've got you guys from Arizona and New Hampshire all the way on opposite sides there, aren't we? All right, now we're gonna add in some sun rays. And these are not specific. I'll start with two along the horizon line. And then, as you can see from the one behind me, I didn't measure them at all. I kind of have a little bit of a bigger gap here than in the other one. So for this one, I'm gonna actually pay a little closer attention. If you start, I'm gonna go right to the middle and do one straight up from the center. There we go. And then we're gonna split each of these in half or in thirds, I think. I wanna put two in between each one, but it's easier if you split your, your space in half if you're trying to get them spaced somewhat even. Not gonna break out a ruler or anything when I'm painting rocks. At least I haven't yet. I should never say never. Next week I'll have a ruler out here measuring something. And you'll say, oh, you said you don't use rulers. I haven't yet, but never say never when it comes to rock painting because there's lots of fun and new things always showing up that I see and I think, oh, that's just amazing. I would have never thought to do that. Kind of the purpose of this page. All right, so we've kind of got our base coat there. We can go over that again if we feel like later. Right now it seems to be blending into rock a little bit, but once we get our other colors in there, you'll, you'll definitely be able to, to see it better. This is a little bit of a lighter rock. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom and whatever size marker, I might even have a bigger one. I'm gonna grab my biggest one just cause it will take less time to fill in with a big one. And I'm just gonna go right underneath there and I'm gonna fill in with my finer tip at the end so I'd rather keep a little bit of space and fill it in than go over my sun. So I'm just gonna create the bottom here with black. And we did, I don't have a black glitter pen. I don't know, maybe they make one. The set that I have does not have one, but I'll show you how I got some fun glitter on the bottom here once this black dries. Cause it wouldn't be fun to have one area not shimmering and everything else is shimmering. So we'll get that on there and we'll let that start drying so that we can go back over that in a little bit here. 
Now there's lots of different colors that come with this set, so I'm just working from like a light pink all the way out to the darker blue that they have. And the darker blue isn't super dark. You could even do maybe a darker edge of black all the way on the outside if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna start with the lighter pink, and again with these, you can test on your paper, make sure they're flowing good before you go to your rock. And I'm just gonna eyeball out a little ways and fill in in between each of my rays and try to stay kind of curve along the same curve as your main sun. And you wanna get pretty close to your orange line, but again, we're gonna outline everything. So if you've got a little bit of space, that's okay. You don't have to worry too much about getting super close. And I know these kind of really shimmer in the light where I'm sitting here by my window. So I'll try to move it around a little bit so you can kind of see the color. These pens are really neat. They look so pretty when they dry. They might be my favorite so far that I have for doing rocks because the kids that find these rocks that have this glitter paint, they think they're just that much more amazing because you know kids love things that shimmer. I mean, I do too. Who doesn't like something that shimmers a little bit? There we go. So we'll go from our light pink right out to our darker pink. And we're gonna just continue the same thing. Just kind of try to follow the same curve. And you can do different thicknesses. On the last one, I did a thinner purple strip just because. But this is definitely a very doable rock. You know, even if you don't have pens, you can you can do this one with brushes fairly easily as well if you can have a nice steady hand. I know I mentioned on here a lot, I don't have the steadiest hand with a brush. I was never a really big painter, but I've done a lot of drawing over the years, so working with these pens is a little bit more natural for me. But I know a lot of people can do this kind of stuff very easily with a paintbrush. And you can go back over the orange when you're done too if you get on top of your orange, because once everything dries, you can layer these pens so easily. And the same would happen with acrylic, just make sure it's nice and set before you go over it again. So we're just gonna keep working our way through our colors here. Next up is purple. It's my daughter's favorite color. She tries to steal this purple glitter pen all of the time from me. I have to search and find it, and I admitted it already. I didn't allow her to play with these right away, but she's sneaking them sometimes, and she hasn't messed them up yet. I'm getting a little bit less scared of her using them just because that you know you can clean off the tips and stuff pretty easily and I did tell her to try not to mix my colors while they're wet and she's done pretty good with that plus I have to thank her for getting me into painting rocks in the first place it all started because we were hunting and hiding rocks in local parks you know, so something I started because I was doing it with the kids. Then I had just as much fun, if not more fun, painting them than they did. Let's see. Oh, and I've got a couple comments here, and I can't see them. My screen is really narrow here. Hello, Raven from California, and hi, Crystal. Do you have tutorials? with an orange sunset blending. I do have a blending tutorial. I had done it a while back, actually. So there's a couple ways that you can find the older videos on Facebook. At the top of the page, there'll be a spot that says videos. You can click there and kind of scroll through all the videos. I know, I'm pretty sure I reshared it not even that long ago. Um, you, so you can look that way. Um, and I did do a blending style one. That's why I haven't done one of those this week because there's already one in the archive. It is a little ways back. It was one of the first ones I did. So it's been a little while. Um, 
another way, if you're on the page, there's a spot where you can hit posts and then you'll be able to search and you can type in sunset and anything that I've done that I've said the word sunset in will show up. I had somebody message me and ask me if we had a website and it is something that we have decided we're gonna put together a little resource page and everything for so that's something that I'll definitely be sharing with you guys when we are getting everything finished up so I look forward to doing all that this is definitely something I really enjoy doing so we'll we're gonna just keep at it we've got a lot more weeks to go in our prompts but I really got to start working on owls you guys because I've never ever done an owl before Oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Raven. I'm glad you guys like them. These ones are really cute and fun. I, I worked on this one when my daughter was at school and she came home and saw it on the table. <gasps> I love it. You know, so, and since I hide them all for the younger kids to find when I, when my little one is like my, my little mini critic, I guess, you know, and that's another reason why I tell people don't stress if it's not exactly what you wanted it for the person that finds it won't see your imperfections in your rocks like you do we're always our own worst critics all they'll see is a beautiful rock that hopefully cheers them up and this is our last color here so i'll finish this one up wrapping around And see how that orange really pops off now that we don't have that light rock behind it. You can really see it so much better. And when we get the black outline on it, you'll see it even more so. And I am going to stretch out my bottom horizon to match with my colors over here too so that it doesn't fall off the rock like that. That's something you can or leave if you don't mind it, but that's just something I want to fix, so... I'm we'll just go in here and just stretch this baseline around the corner a little ways and curve it off. Just like that. And we did pretty good on that side of evening up. Now the only color I didn't use in my sunset, we're going to go ahead and use right now is the green. This is how we're going to give a little bit of shimmer to our sunset area. Now you can't really tell that it's green. I did a little bit of the orange and a little bit of the green in this process. So all you have to do, and you have to kind of work quickly with this if you're going to do it, make sure your green's flowing, and then you just kind of start in a small area, go back and forth a few times, and then kind of rub it in like so. And I don't go all the way to the top because I do a little bit of orange right at the top. You can't really see too much of the actual color once you've rubbed it in, but just enough. So I kind of wanted it to look little bit like maybe a little meadow or something you know something where the sun's setting but since the rays are all the way right along the horizon like that if it was going down that little bit of the land would kind of have that golden glow so we're going to go just right underneath here like so just a little bit at a time because you don't want it to dry Use a different finger than the one you used for your green. You don't want to mix those two colors together, green and orange. Definitely turn muddy. There we go, just like so. So now your horizon has a little bit of a shimmer to it as well. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and start kind of blocking everything out. You could leave it like this if you prefer it like this. I like the more graphic look of doing the outline. So your rock, your rules. This is just for inspiration. You know, it's not necessary. I mean, you can do it exactly like this. I, you know, go for it. But if you want to mix it up, do that as well. So I'm just going to start by doing my lines around my sun first. I'm using the extra fine um, pen. And with this, I, I say this all the time, and I, I have to talk before I do my lines because I can't line and talk at the same time. But an, a nice light touch with this. If you start pressing hard on the rock, it will spit out paint. So just a nice light touch. And you'll be just fine. Of course, if you make a mistake, you can always let it dry completely. When you're using black, let it dry completely, and then you can go back over it with your color. And 
and then you know rotate your rock so you have an I like to draw I have an easier time drawing away some people might be able to draw close you know find a way that makes it easiest for you to do straight lines And some days maybe going one way, but I would suggest kind of continuing the same motion. As opposed to working your way, you know, around. I think I'm worse with my lines than I am with dots with having to like stop and hold my breath. Not necessarily hold my breath, but. There we go. So I breathe, huh? You know, I probably breathe through my nose more. But I've been fighting this cold. Well, that's not really an option for me today. All right, so we've got the sun outlines and then we're just gonna go in between and do each, each layer one at a time, all the way out the edge of the sun. And these ones aren't, these are a little more forgiving just because they're a curve. So I kind of just do a gentle, I don't even try to do it as a straight line when I curve like this, just because I, I don't know why. <laughs> Just because I don't. For me, I, it's easier for me to do kind of a little. I'm going to exaggerate here a little bit, kind of like a hash, like do, 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 like that. Now that's exaggerating, so. But just little, little bits so that you can kind of get your turn just how you want it. And just work around here and take your time. I tell you guys all the time, I, I'm always going a little bit faster on my lives than I ever would be if I was just sitting and relaxing. You know, do a few layers, come back. Do a few more if you want to. Don't ever try to rush yourself. It's much easier to slow down. Just take your time the first time through than to have to go back, fix a problem, Wait for it to dry. These dry fast, but it's still, it's a whole nother step. So. Just remember, a nice light touch, and you won't get that spattering problem. Every once in a while, I'll still have it happen because I get carried away. And we'll go here. Outside edge. Especially on this outside edge, be careful. Be nice and light touch because you don't have the paint underneath, so it's definitely right on the rough rock. See, and I'm trying to work backwards here, and that's exactly, I started getting off because I was going this way the entire time, and that's exactly what I was talking about before. I should listen to my own advice sometimes, right? beginning there and we're done isn't that just adorable and cute and fun and easy I mean that didn't take me that long to make live here with you guys and now I've got two fun sons that I'll be hiding out in the neighborhood soon so I hope you all have a wonderful day hopefully these brightened your day a little bit if you attempt this sun please leave it in the comments below so we can see them and everybody can you know Give it some love. And if you need the glitter pens, there is a link in uh, the description to the post above. Everybody have a great day. Bye.